Rappin' Rick Adams, as well as the all-female competitors, made this one of the hottest visual events of the year. The women were so hot, my blood began to boil. I pumped up in the seas and lived the rain with four. <laughs> the judges were the all in rounds one, two, and three. That symmetry and posing and then muscularity. Now we have the fourth round to make the final call. Pick the winners in each class and then the overall. <laughs> My name is Rapid Rick and I'm your MC. If there's a question, if the judges will please don't bother me. In the novice bodybuilding category, the overall winner was Jeanette McGuire. She displayed tremendous muscularity with shape and symmetry and an interesting posing routine as well. We expect her to do well in any of the open categories she may enter in the future. The winner of the overall Open and Masters division was the outstanding Karen Mitchell. Karen has developed a physique with fabulous muscle quality and size, and yet still maintains the feminine shape sought after by so many women in the sport. Karen is a fabulous competitor and has been around for quite some time. She's always done well in her competitions. With a little more work, she could be a professional in a few years. NPC, k Baxter Memorial, Women's Extravaganza Bodybuilding and Strength Contest. And I'm talking with promoter, Kenny Castle, and NPC chairman for New Jersey, John Kemper. We wanted to do something that was kind of state-of-the-art for women's bodybuilding, because we found there were no other shows. By the way, uh, Bob Bonham also uh, was instrumental in the development of the, of the first show. And we decided we wanted to have a show, promote a show that was for women, especially and do it right we wanted to do it first class all the way so we decided to try and get more sponsorship money and hold it in a nice venue and do extra extra special things for the girls and we decided to have the strength competition to spice it up do something different it's never been done before and I think it's working well John how's the NPC program developing in New Jersey well Tom I think tonight is a good example of the direction we want to go in New Jersey I think uh, the women's show tonight shows what we want to do in terms of incorporating strength as well as physique and it's a really unique contest uh, I don't think there's any others like this in the United States today in third place was New Jersey's own Karen Pika Karen's hard work and dedication won her five hundred dollars that day look forward to seeing a special interview with Karen in the future on Muscle Sport USA Note Karen is also a top amateur bodybuilder as well as strength athlete. She placed in the top five at this year's Women's Nationals. 21, 22, 23, there's one. In second place was California's shining star Ray Hollett. Ray was last year's winner and is always a tremendous competitor. Ray's second place finish landed her $1,000 prize money. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19. There's no question about it. The women's extravaganza's straight contest was one of the most exciting events of the year. It certainly had this commentator in a frenzy.
47. All right, two more. All the girls gave 100%, pushing out every last repetition, knowing that the next competitor could be the one to be. But when it came down to it, in first place was the incomparable Mary Jeffrey. Mary showed power and stamina that blew out the rest of the class. Mary's determination to win this event was beyond compare. Her stamina and strength matched that determination. Mary, a power lifter, had the muscle needed to bring home $2,000 in winnings, as well as two tickets for the 1988 Ms. Olympia competition held at the Felt Forum Madison Square Garden in New York. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of Mary in the future. 18. I'd like to see some of the male competitors get up there and compete against these women. I, for one, wouldn't be one of them. We look forward to next year's women's extravaganza and watching Mary Jeffrey and Ray Holly once again go head to head. 37. Come on, 37. 48, good one, come on. Tom Terwilliger with Kenny Castle and John Kemper at the Women's Extravaganza. And we'll be back after these messages.